Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joshua Oyeni. I'm a consultant out of the United States. My company is Zamborium Global Consulting, uh, based in the United States, New York City, precisely. Uh, what I help you do is give you strategic advice, counsel, and of course, information that can help you make your immigration journey to the United States a success. All right, so I will just share in a few minutes why and how I almost got sent back from a U.S. port of entry, okay? Why and how I almost got sent back from a U.S. port of entry. So there was this particular um, occasion that I had, and I got invited to attend uh, a conference in the United States as a guest speaker, all right? If as a matter of fact, I was the only guest speaker for this event out of the U.S. All the other guys were guest speakers, you know, within the United States. They didn't live here. So I was the only one coming from outside the U.S. and then I was coming from Nigeria. So what happened was uh, I was coming through, you know, Lagos and then Abu Dhabi and then, you know, straight into uh, into Washington, D.C., you know, those uh, airports. And if you're familiar with that, you know, that route, the, you know, the, the port of entry for the U.S. is situated in Abu Dhabi. So if you're coming through that, that part, you have to clear the U.S. customs at Abu Dhabi. So I got into, I got there um, at about uh, midnight. I don't know what time it was, local time, but I got there and then I was about to get on the second leg of, you know, of that trip, which meant I had to go through the U.S. customs at this time. So as I was going through, I had the, you know, the customs officer ask me, what my purpose of visit was. And I told him I was going to attend, you know, this event as a guest speaker. So uh, I checked everything and said, can I please see your letter of invitation? And I was like, okay, my letter of invitation, I was looking frantically for it. I could not find it. I could not find it. As simple as that was, it was no joke. He said, I have to see your letter of invitation. I said, okay, let me just look around and see if I have any you know, soft copy anywhere. I checked my phone, everything. I did not have it. And why? Because just uh, a couple of weeks before then, I had my phone stolen in Nigeria. And so I had this new phone that did not have all of the information that, you know, the old, the old phone had. And so it was so frustrating that I didn't have a soft copy. I didn't have the hard copy. And, you know, like me, I, I was like, okay, so what do I do? He told me you have to get a soft copy. I have to see something, you know, that shows that you are, you know, um, you know, you have a legitimate reason to come to the United States. And I was trying to reach out my guys that were in, you know, US. I was calling them to say, okay, you know what? I, I need you guys to send me a soft copy of the invitation letter the way I sleep. All right. In Nigeria, I think the local time it was 4 a.m. because eventually I got to know it was 4 a.m. Okay, so. You know, but what saved me out of that mess, as it would have been, because, you know, all the other guys were boarding and I was not allowed to board. You know, I was basically about the last person, you know, waiting to be cleared. And so luckily for me, and as God will have it, I just uh, sent a WhatsApp message using the Internet service of the airport to say to my wife. And I said, please, are you awake? I need my invitation letter for this event. I'm actually with them at the, you know, the, you know, the secondary inspection unit. And. In split seconds, she responded and said, okay, I'm getting it for you. I said, just check the wardrobe. And she got that for me. I showed the consular, uh, the customs officer, the, you know, the paper, you know, my phone. And he said, okay, you're good, you're fine, you know, and then cleared me. <laughs> oh boy, I ran so fast, you know, into the, into the aircraft that was just waiting to close this door and then be on the way. So, uh, you know, so something as simple as that could actually have cost me to be sent back okay, from that U.S. port of entry, all right? So when you are traveling to the United States, like I, you know, like I always share, make sure you have all your information tidied up and in place, okay? Nothing should be missing. Your your passport, your, your you know, your letter of invitation, if you are a student, your letter of admission, all of those things should be together. You should be able to access them, you know, in one go and then get through with the customs. It's important. So I see you again in the next video. Make sure you have your documents together and do not mess around with U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agents. My name is Joshua. Really, bye for now.